Blessings, family. I thank y'all for being back once again on another prophetic video. When the Lord is speaking, when the spirit is moving, you know you got to move along with that spirit in Jesus' name. You know he say walk by faith and not by sight in Jesus' name. So I'm going ahead and walk by faith. I'm going ahead and uh, be obedient uh, and bring forth this divine word unto his uh, uh, children, unto the sheep unto the uh, the tribes of Israel, uh, the 12 tribes, uh, unto those uh, who this word is for. This word may not be for everybody, so y'all test the fruit of the Spirit. But I'm going to go ahead and come forth with this divine message and this divine word. I very seldom come through with words like that, what I'm going to speak about. Uh, you guys know and you guys that have been following me and uh, looking forward to these prophetic words you guys know I very seldom speak on uh, money and I very seldom uh, speak on marriages uh, but just know when I am speaking on those things uh, that God is speaking in this time because I'm not a money preacher I'm not a money prophet uh, and, and, and when it comes to those marriage things uh, it has to be sent from heaven in Jesus name in order for me uh, uh, to bring forth these words because we know uh, we want to be right about it we want to be righteous about it and uh, that's just how God moves in my life when he places those words in in my life I know it's some special significance to it because I very seldom get them but I know when I do get them I know uh, there is meaning to that so uh, right now, we're going to talk about the wedding feast in this time. God is good. First of all, I'd like to introduce myself for those don't know. If you here on this channel for the very first time, my name is Beautiful Empress Warrior. I love you guys. Feel free. You are welcome here to this channel. Just subscribe down below. Turn on your bell notification. That way, every video I put up, every community post I put up, Whatever I put out, even a live stream, you'll you'll definitely get that in Jesus' name. I'm looking forward to doing live streams, but I'm waiting until the Holy Spirit, until God allow me to move forth and go ahead and get that personal one-on-one -on -one connection with you guys as far as doing live streams instead of just sending out videos to you guys. So whenever the Lord uh, move my spirit, then I'll be doing some lives with you guys. So go ahead and get excited, but I'll let you guys know in advance. But this video is about the parable of the wedding feast. God had placed this on my spirit for at least a week and a half now and uh, it's still burning inside my spirit so I know he want me to speak to you guys about this. Uh, we know that there's kingdom marriages going on in this time. We know we just had Valentine's Day. What was that? Yesterday. So we know a lot of people have been out getting married because they use Valentine's Day as a significant day for them but uh, this is speaking of uh, your wedding feast whenever your wedding feast is uh, the Lord God wanted me to come forth and speak to you guys on these things he just wants you guys to know that uh, he has approved some kingdom marriages that's why this message is not may not be for everybody he has approved some kingdom mess marriages and the king has sent forth his son in order to get married so there is uh, festivities coming up uh, there is celebrations coming up, there is marriages coming up, there is weddings coming up, but he wants you guys to be forewarned in advance. Uh, some of you guys may have went through this already and experienced this already. Uh, he wants you guys to know and pay attention to who you invite to your wedding in this time. He know uh, you guys is going to send out a couple invites to some people that you have sent out to. He know they're going to turn them down in Jesus' name. He know it's probably going to take about two or three times for you to get people to come to this wedding and this festivity uh, that he has planned for you but he said don't worry about it in Jesus name he got your back that's why he got he wants you guys to know in advance to pay attention to who you are inviting to your kingdom marriage to your wedding to your festival to your celebration 
uh, uh, to whatever parties that you are having regarding your wedding, whatever celebration they may be, even your wedding period. He wants you to pay attention to who you are inviting because everybody that you invite is not worthy to be there with you. Everybody that you invite is not worthy to join you in this marriage in Jesus name. So he wants you to pay attention to the imposters. You shall and you probably will have an imposter at your wedding and how you going to find out who this imposter is in Jesus name. The king is going to come out and he going to realize that some people that's at your wedding in Jesus name, it don't have to be one person, but this is just a metaphor saying that there is be imposters or an imposter at your wedding that has come unto your wedding, but they are not even dressed accordingly for your wedding in Jesus name. They probably just wearing plain clothes, just coming into your wedding, just to uh, 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 be a naysayer or just an onlooker or to be a spy, whatever it may be. But God wants you to pay attention to the imposters or whoever is at your wedding that did not really get invited in Jesus name, because that's why he wants you guys to pay attention to whoever you invite, because he wants you to know that everybody is not worthy to join you in Jesus name. Everybody is not worthy to join you. So that's why he wants me to come forth and bring this message to allow you to know that the king son is ready to be married there will be some marriages coming forth in jesus name you guys are going to be celebrating and and using your party planner to invite the people or whoever you chose to invite the people and uh the people that they invited these people are not worthy because when you invited them the first time they just looked you over when you invited them the second time they just went on their way and they went separate ways in Jesus name but on that last go around your service or whoever you told to invite these people went on and invited a multitude of people and some was good and some was bad but through it all in Jesus name God is good he just wants you to pay attention to those that are worthy at your wedding because some people will not be worthy to be able to join you some people will not be able to work be worthy to sit at your wedding see Jesus knew their hearts in Jesus name Jesus knew that they was wicked in Jesus name so God wants you guys to pay attention because they know the hearts of these people. He do not want any imposters at this wedding and he wants you to be wise in advance and wise and know who you are inviting to this wedding because some people is not even worthy to sit there in Jesus name. And I have the scriptures down in the bottom of this description box, but verse 11 says, and when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there was a man which had not on wedding garments. And he said unto him, friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment on? Meaning you came to this wedding, but you don't even have on no wedding attire in Jesus name. God is good. And then when he confronted him, the guy was speechless. So God wants y'all to pay attention in this time because Jesus had perceived their wickedness already. So this is just a forewarning unto you guys. God wants you guys to pay attention to that guest list in Jesus name, who you inviting in this time, because he wants you to know that everybody is not worthy to join you at this wedding feast in this time. God is good. You guys have a blessed, wonderful, prosperous day today. I love you guys. I look forward to be a guest at your wedding. I know I will be worthy in Jesus name. God is good. He will never leave us and he will never forsake us. So many blessings to whoever is getting married in this time. I pray that all goes well with you. I thank God that you have found your true love and your happiness and those that still looking for you shall find find it as well, but make sure it's heaven sent in Jesus name. That way it will last for a long time. I love you guys. Keep y'all head up. God love you guys. Remember can't stop, won't stop in Jesus name. God is good. And I look forward to inviting you guys to mine one day in Jesus name. Counting not strange in this time. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Y'all keep y'all head up. Beautiful Empress Warrior. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to donate to the nonprofit organization in this time feeding the homeless. I love you guys. Keep your head up.